Welcome to Nothing But The Truth, the podcast about investigations and how you can become a better detective. This is the no BS, no Hollywood nonsense real deal. Now here's your host, Detective Rom. Good to have you here again on episode two. I'm Detective Ram Ramesh Nyberg on Nothing But The Truth, the podcast about investigations detective work, cases in the news, and how you can become a better investigator. Hey, just about 72 hours after launching uh, episode one, we're on about six or seven podcast venues, outlets all over the place. So that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get right into the main topic of today's episode, which will be about what an investigation is. And we're going to kind of dissect that, demystify it just a little bit. But first, I need to recap some of the things that I was talking about in episode one. I did discuss my career credentials, and I think that's really important that you have that no matter what source of information or news you're getting and for whatever reason. So I told you about my career. I told you that I was a retired police officer and police detective, 22 years in homicide. And and so I guess you have a sense now of where I'm coming from career-wise. That's what this podcast is really about is to help you learn more about the world of investigations, right? Not the Hollywood stuff, not the glitz and glam, not the nonsense you get from some of these police shows and and even the news media, because they do get it wrong a lot. And I'm going to be fair, but we are going to critique uh, some of those sources. That's That's what this is about. Some of you out there are trying to make decisions on your life. Some of you might already be in the investigative arena and you want to get better at what you're doing. So no matter who you are or what your experience level is, I welcome you. And again, I'm very glad that you're here. So you know who I am. Here's who I am not. I'm not the know-all expert, all right, because there is no such person. There are a lot of experienced investigators and people in the criminal justice realm who have just as much experience as I do and could be sitting behind this microphone. So I want to give kudos to them because without them, many of whom I worked side by side with, I wouldn't be here. I'm also not an attorney. And I mention this because there will be times during the future podcasts that we talk about legal situations. We talk about how the law fits into the world of investigations, some of the obligations that investigators have to the legal boundaries of the job. And so I want you to know that at no time in our discussions here on Nothing But The Truth am I providing legal advice because I cannot do that. If you're in a legal situation or you're seeking advice about a legal matter, you need to talk to a licensed attorney, and I suggest that you do that. By the way, we will have uh, an attorney or two or three as guests on this show, so I want you to stay tuned for future episodes. I'm also an author. Uh, I recently published a book called The 10 Must-Haves to Be a Great Detective. That book is available on Amazon in e-Kindle. What do they call it? E-book? Kindle e-book. There you go. Kindle e-book format and also in paperback. So go to Amazon, take a look at that, and I hope that you'll get some value out of that. That's broken down into 10 easy-to-read chapters. We'll be drilling down into some of those topics right here on this podcast. I'd also like to encourage you to be a patron of the show. If you enjoy what you're hearing and are interested, you can go to Patreon and look up Nothing But The Truth. And if you're not familiar with Patreon, please go to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com and look up our podcast and you'll see why it's a good value for you to make a donation if you feel so inclined to do so. And There's no minimum, there's no obligation, there's no pressure from me, but if you'd like to support the show and and help me come back and give you great content, I would love for you to be a member. There's all kinds of cool perks about being a member too. We have like a little community where we can communicate with each other because I'd like to learn more about you. It's absolutely essential for me to understand who you are as my listeners because I appreciate you greatly and obviously this would be a futile endeavor at the very least if if you weren't here. So please have a look at Patreon and see if you would like to contribute. It would be greatly appreciated. So we talked about a little bit about future episodes, and I'd just like to touch on that briefly before we go any further. There will be episodes about specific skill sets 
that are important to be a good investigator. We're going to discuss this in both the realm of public investigation, meaning law enforcement investigators, and private investigators. We'll be highlighting some homicide cases that I actually worked on during my career as a homicide investigator. We'll talk about those, how they were solved. We'll talk about unsolved cases as well. We're going to have guest interviews. We'll have attorneys on. We'll have other members of the criminal justice community and the private investigation community come and talk to us here on Nothing But The Truth. We'll also discuss some some current cases, and we're never lacking for that kind of material. Just look at the news. Not too long ago, we had uh, the Champlain Towers collapse, the condo collapse here in Surfside, Florida, and I think we're up past uh, 100 deaths or close to 100 deaths, as I think everyone expected. And that tragedy, of course, is giving birth to many investigations both civil and possibly criminal investigations. So we'll talk about things like that. The president of Haiti was just assassinated. There are people in South Florida that have been, that have been implicated in that crime. So there's always lots of things to talk about. And of course, I always welcome your feedback. So I should stop here and, and at least tell you how to get a hold of me. You can get a hold of me at the Patreon website, or you can contact me via email. My email is truth at nybergpi.com. Truth, like nothing but the truth, at N-Y-B-E-R-G-P-I dot com. That's N-Y-B-E-R-G-P-I, like private investigator dot com. I would love to hear from you. I will read all of your comments and feedback, and I'll reply to them as well. All right, so let's get into the main topic today, which I want to start with what an investigation is. And I actually want to define it. You might be sitting there thinking, hey, Detective Rom, this is really fundamental, really basic. Well, some of our listeners are people that maybe aren't so well-versed in the world of investigations. Maybe they're people who are just starting out and trying to decide what they're going to do with their lives, whether they're going to be going into police work or whether they're going to be private investigators. So we might have listeners that are as young as uh, high school students. So I would like to keep things simple just for now for this first kind of introduction into what an investigation really is. If you look up the word in the dictionary, what you're going to see is phrases like systematic examinations and detailed inquiry. And I think that's important to understand in terms of being a professional investigator. If you're not doing things systematically, if you're not doing them in a detailed way, if you're not going back and trying to get information again and again, even if you failed to do so the first time, then you're not really conducting an investigation. So I think that's important to understand in terms of are you doing things at a professional level? Hey, doctors do investigations all the time on you, don't they? So when you go to the doctor, what's happening? He's asking you questions like, where does it hurt? Does it only hurt at night? Does it only hurt when you lay down? They're also doing x-rays, sonograms, and all kinds of things like that. So what are those? Well, those are detailed inquiries and systematic examinations. Engineers do them when they do a study uh, before a project is started. Mechanics that look at your car, they're opening the hood, they're listening for things that maybe they can recognize and troubleshoot that you may not understand. They're looking at stains on the engine block that might come from a leak somewhere that maybe you didn't even notice because they are trained in that, they're experienced in that. So they're also asking you questions, right? So when do you hear the knock, Mr. Nyberg? Do you hear it under 40 miles an hour? Do you hear it when you're braking? Again, detailed inquiry, systematic examination. Now, when I was a homicide investigator, we were held to very high standards. So I like to keep those standards going, and I'd like to encourage you to adopt those standards. It would be great if all of us could become more professional, upgrade the profession of private investigations and law enforcement investigations so that the public has more trust in us. And that's really what it's about. If you're going to go into private investigation, your reputation is everything. And if you can do things at a really professional level, you'll outshine about 90% of the other private investigators out there, I guarantee you. Nice. Let's move on to the process of investigations. What is the process? How do you start an investigation? Well, that all depends on what is being investigated and what you're being called to do. In a typical scenario, for example, in police work, there's been a crime. The investigators go to either a crime scene or they go meet with someone who's reporting the crime. So at the very beginning, you have this detailed inquiry right, where you're talking to a victim, you're talking perhaps to several witnesses, and you're starting to gather information. And from that information, you want to generate leads. A lead is basically an unfinished task. It's something that needs to be resolved. It's a question that needs to be answered. And really, 
That's what investigations are at their very basic level. Investigations answer questions for people. These are questions that need to be answered so that the client or the public can make a decision. Does that make sense? Let's say you have an armed robbery of a grocery store. That's a crime against the public. And the public wants to know who did it. The public wants to know where they are. Hopefully they're apprehended, they're brought to trial, or the case is brought before the prosecutor's office, and the public decides, along with the people they've entrusted to make those decisions, what's going to happen to that person. And that's what's meant by we're a nation of laws, right? We do everything based on our understanding and adherence to common laws that we've all agreed are good for all of us. So without getting too philosophical into the basis of our society and its laws, let's go on to the process. So you start looking at evidence, if there's any evidence there. You start talking to people, which is sometimes also referred to as testimonial evidence. And hopefully you're generating leads that will answer continual questions and will get you closer to a resolution to those basic questions of what happened here, who's responsible for it. Once you've gathered all that information and answered those questions, it's laid at the feet of a decision maker like a prosecutor, and it goes from there. And we'll explore those later steps in future episodes. I hope that's given you a little bit of an overview. I'm really excited about engaging with you. As I said, we'll always have something interesting to talk about and discuss and debate and perhaps even solve and resolve together. So I'm looking forward to talking to you on episode three. I hope you'll be there. Again, I hope you go to Patreon and contribute and help this podcast continue. If you can't, that's fine. I am honored that you're here as a listener either way. Don't forget to contact me at my email, truth at nybergpi.com. You can also contact me on the Patreon website and wherever you are in the United States or, or the world that you're enjoying this and that you'll continue to listen. Please tell others about the podcast. If you like what you hear and you think you want to continue tuning in and you know someone else that might be interested in criminal cases, civil cases, and how investigations really work, please tell your friends to come and join. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube and we will go on this journey together. Don't forget to go to Amazon and look for the book that I recently published there, The 10 Must-Haves to Be a Great Detective. I hope you'll purchase it, and I hope that I'll hear some feedback from you here on Nothing But the Truth. Thanks again for being with me. It's Ramesh Nyberg, Detective Ram, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Take care.